All right, I want to show you a real quick video on what to check for when your clutch is grinding going into gear. This clutch is actually all right, but I can still show you what to check for. And we'll start from here in the cab and work our way down to the actual clutch itself. So the first thing to check from up top here is your master cylinder. And so right here behind your clutch pedal, you see that is your master cylinder. What you're looking for is fluid. You can see on this one that there's a little bit of fluid. You can see some old fluid that's collected some dust there underneath that rubber boot. Uh, but what you're looking for is it's probably more than that. If your clutch is grinding going into gear and uh, usually this will be the last thing I check because um, it's more common that it's there your uh, clutch brake or your clutch itself but if you've already looked at those things or you want to start out here look for fluid around your master cylinder on this side and that's an indication that your master cylinder has failed and you're not getting the correct amount of prime and pressure from your your, your uh, pedal here to engage the clutch fully so that's your first check from up top the next thing to check from up here is your master cylinder's fluid level. I got a light on it. You can see it has that max minimum line and that this fluid is to the top. Um, what this could tell you, it's just like a hydraulic brake system. When this fluid gets low, it's one of two things. Either you have a leak or your clutch is worn and so the fluid has gone, the fluid level's gone down. So this is just a good indication that something else is going wrong. If this is low, I wouldn't just top it off. I'd want to check to make sure that clutch is uh, not worn out completely and that there's no leaks throughout the system. And basically, it's just this one hydraulic line right there it goes from here all the way down to where your clutch is at the slave cylinder underneath at the bottom of the transmission. Okay, so after you've done your checks up top and uh, those seem good, you'll want to come down here to underneath your truck at the back of the, or, I'm sorry, at the front of the transmission where your clutch uh, is installed. And so here's your slave cylinder. This is that hydraulic line that's attached to that um, reservoir up there. And when you're checking here, you want to check for leaks. You can check for fluid here check for fluid underneath here uh, anywhere around here would be a, a possible indication of a leak only tricky part about this is that a lot of times uh, your engine will be leaking oil or your rear main seal will be leaking oil and sometimes that'll come out of this hole and it will maybe look like this could be leaking but it's really hard to tell if your slave cylinder is leaking um, by just seeing fluid here. I wouldn't say that's a clear indication that something's wrong here. You might have to pull these four Torx head bolts off and pull this out and check the actual rubber boot and the slave cylinder itself. Um, but that's not the most common failures I see. Mainly the common failures are in here with your clutch brake and your actual clutch itself. So I'm going to remove this access panel and we're gonna look at how to check the clutch brake and the clutch for wear. So I rem removed those two 13 millimeter bolts and this access plate just slides off. I went ahead and moved the grease tube out of the way. This is damaged, so you wanna make sure this is taking grease because it's important to keep that throw out bearing greased up. But as you look into here, you'll see two things. This is your clutch assembly. I, I, this is an Eaton transmission with, I do believe, an Eaton clutch. And that disc here, let's get back to the seat. That disc right here is your clutch brake. So let me show you really quickly how to test this clutch brake. All you want to do is get your hand on it and twist it 
back and forth. If it spins freely, it's not good. It's no good. But if it will not spin like it is doing right now, it's clicking back and forth. That means your clutch brake is still good. Now on this clutch itself, as you can see here, that's your clutch wear indicator. On this end, it says new. And on that end, it says replace. And you see that little tab there indicates where your clutch is at. So this clutch is right at the end of its life. It's about a quarter of the way to replace. Um, so if your clutch was grinding in this situation, I'd say that it is your clutch that's going to be the problem. That the clutch brake looked good, the cylinders and uh, fluid looked good, and the clutch itself was worn. Um, and that's really the main uh, issues. The, the one other issue that if all those are looking good and it's still giving you problems, what to do is to have somebody step on your clutch pedal and make sure that that clutch brake is being compressed by the throw out bearing. So if you were to have somebody step on the clutch pedal and that clutch brake was not being compressed by the throw out bearing with the full press of the clutch pedal, then you would need to adjust your clutch. There'd be something wrong with the adjustment. But that's basically it. Those are all your, your main checks and how you would identify why your, your transmission is grinding going into gear.